Hello and welcome to this video for Blackboard Learn. Today we're going to take a look at grading periods. So if you go to the Manage button in your Blackboard Grade Center, you'll find this thing called Grading Periods. Once you click on it, it's going to have no grading periods in it, and it's going to want you to create one right off the bat. So what is a grading period? Well basically a grading period is a section of your course that you're going to tie specific columns in the Grade Center to. So it could be a period that just has a name, or it could have a period that has some sort of date range. Also, you can associate those columns with due dates. So you can pick one of those three categories to set it up under. Uh, in this particular example, we're just going to have no categories, and we're going to create a few different grading periods. So this first one might just cover section one. All you really need is the name, none selected, and I'll hit submit. Create another grading period. Call that one section two. Again, none, and then submit. And then I'll just do one more for good measure. So section three. And just to let you know, as you select these down here, if you selected like date range, for example, you could go in here and select the dates that you would want this thing to be uh, particularly valid. So maybe the 12th through the 16th. So that would be the consideration for section three. Now, if you associate it with your grade uh, due dates, you'd have to put in the due dates when you create those columns. So in this instance, it's going to pick up columns that were generated between this date range. Um, if you select this one, it's going to be ones that have a due date associated with it. And then the none is not going to associate it either way. Now, since I don't want to associate it with these dates, I am going to click none. But just wanted to illustrate that you can click the calendars and easily jump in on those dates. So I'll click None and hit Submit. There we go. We have three grading periods. Let's see how we can use them. So I'm going to go right back into the Grade Center by clicking the OK button down in the lower right there. And here's my Grade Center. So right now you'll see that we're, our, we're looking at a full Grade Center view. Now if you wanted to change that view and look at different sections of the Grade Center, those three sections that we've set up, you can come over here to Filter, click on Filter, and it brings this little bar up. So then I can go to this uh, full grade center drop down and you're going to notice that there's a lot of different things in here. You can look at the video on smart views to understand what a smart view is, but here we are with grading periods. So there's those sections that we generated, one, two, three. So if I click on section one, it's really not going to bring anything up because we don't have any columns in section one. Same thing for section two and three. So how do you associate columns with a section? Since we have no dates associated with any of these, well, you can go to that Manage button. You click the column Organization this time. And now you're going to see those sections that we created in this viewpoint. So remember in the very first tutorial when we talked about not integrating period? All these are going to display in the full grade center, but not in individual sections. So it's as easy as just clicking on the multi-directional arrow to the left and putting it in the sections we want to deal with. So let's go ahead and put weighted total up in section one. We'll just do this for an example. Assignment one in section two. And finally, we'll do test one into section three. So now we just put a column in each one of these sections. So section one should have weighted total. Section two should have the ASN or assignment one and section three of the test one. So we like that setup. We'll hit submit. So here we are in section one, it's loading the right column. Let's check out our other sections here. Section two, assignment one, section three. So you can see that there was uh, some good uses with these grading periods and you can break your course up into easier, more manageable chunks of grading. And you can do that using the grading periods and then using the filter button to display the current view that you'd like to look at in your grade center. So that concludes this video on Blackboard grading periods.